give you a little bit of a, a, a tour on what we actually do in Scratch. I am busy uh, looking at the grading alignments for a final finishing on a documentary. And I'm just basically scrubbing through and looking at the color space that it was shot in and the color uh, grade or light that we want to go to. As you can see, I've got a shot here of Cape Town at sunset. The shot was acquisitioned like that. So as you can see, it's very flat because we've got a lot of highlights coming from behind this mountain. It's flattening out our image. Uh, this is after sunset, it's about to go down, but as you can see, our exposure is qu quite high. And the director on this movie, specifically, would like this to look more like sunset and less like an overexposed sunset area. So with Scratch, it allows me, uh, with Scratch gives me a lot of tools to be able to manipulate this image to what I want to see. What I want to do is I want to apply in a grade. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to reset my grade to be exactly the same as what I get from uh, the camera. Okay, so as you can see here, by using my stats, I have a good indication of this image as it stands at the moment. By looking at my primaries here, you can see my red, green and blue exposure ranges. And just by adjusting my primary master gain, you can see where my exposure level lies. Okay, so if I got a file like that, that would be very underexposed. The way I have this file at the moment is very overexposed. As you can see by the red indicators in my stat line, once I start hitting the exposure range. Um, what I want to do is I want to pick a nice exposure, ra exposure range that's going to justify what these images should look like. Looking at my stats, you can now also see the color spectrum that we are in at the moment. If you look here, you'll see there we are sitting a lot in the yellow channel and quite a lot in the red channel. Okay, I'd expect at sunset that this would be more in this yellow and red channel and that's what I'm going to try to achieve for the sunset shot. Okay, if, you, if I just turn my stats off for a second, you will notice at the bottom here I have six tabs. These are my coloring function tools. So on my source, I have uh, the scaling functions of what I can do and uh, the enhanced level and the clipping functions, whether I want clipping on and off. I have a lookup table that I can import if I had a lookup table from the camera. And then I have my various controls that I can use to manipulate this image. You can work on the color wheels, as you can see here. I am changing primary colors. Uh, I can do everything on the wheels, uh, on the, the wheels on the screen. But I prefer to work on my color panels because it gives you a feel. So I'm going to take my S-curve saturation and I'm going to push the saturation. As you will see now, I have more in my yellow and my red color channel than I had before. But the problem is, on my red and my, my uh, green channel here, you can see by pushing it, I have overexposed. So what I want to do by using my stats again is I want to correct that. Now that I've got a nice exposure once again, I can see my orange coming through from sunset. What I want to do is I literally want to enhance this. Now, enhancing a specific scene like this, especially for, uh, to sell it as sunset. As you can see, the lights of the car are on. I want to make this pop by pushing the contrast and bringing the whole ambience of this image down towards what you would expect when you see uh, a sunset image. Okay, our main character, Rashad, is on the right-hand side here. I want to maintain his exposure here, but I want to have more contrast and more color in here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lower the contrast by working on my color panel and pushing some contrast in. If you look at the number plate, you will see, as I push the contrast, that this area here will start disappearing. Okay. Going back to my stats again, I will see now that I am a little bit exposed on the yellow channel. So I will then once again drop my gains down to an acceptable level. Okay, I'm now going to work on my primaries. In other words, the main colors that I have in here. So at the moment you can see on my color wheel A, I have, I can select my color range. I am going to be working more in the orange yellow channel as you see here okay once i've selected that you see as i'm dialing in i'm dialing out 
that color, oh, sorry, the gamma on that color. And I'm going to dial it back in till I get to the kind of level I want to work at. And now I'm going to lift those primaries. So as you see me dialing in here, you should see a lot more yellow coming in to this image. Let's go a little bit more into the orange channel. And I'm going to dial it a little bit more in. So once I need, I'm happy with what I've done in my grade here, what I need to do is just to check what I had and what I have now. Okay, this is more of a sunset feel that we're going for. So when I'm happy with this, I can then move on to the rest of my program or my next shot that I want to work on. Thank you.